Might as well just test out the uh, webcam on this uh, Dell. <sighs> yeah, figure all shit goes on in this world. I just looked at the television as well. Yeah, I figure shit happens, and uh, he thought, and he thought the job you take taking is like, a, is like, is a, is a job. Any type of job, with the fucking prize you find, it's just a fucking shit job with no fucking with no potential opportunities. If you ask him what would possess me to just to say, put in a comment. I'm gonna put this in an upload here. Apparently what happened was the reason why and I just put mention about to say like to show video of superior quality work but the fucking problem is unforeseen circumstances that had occurred to say management was too inco fucking incompetent too fucking incompetent and, they, and then the way they fucking saw it and the way they saw it they saw it was not, and they, and they just didn't, and they just didn't, fuck, just can't, just couldn't see fucking eye to eye on anything. Great management couldn't know anything from their, from their, from their goddamn heads up their, in their fucking asses. And they thought the way I was doing the fucking job was considered what they call unsafe, whatever. The fucking problem, they thought about safety, but the fucking problem is you can't just fucking. So you can't just fucking sit there and just do a certain fucking way because of, say, so-called safety. That's not the way. That's not the way it fucking works in this world, especially working on fucking weekends. They even earning a fucking day. The fucking sons of bitches, whatever, were saying that I don't go by the fuck. Is it, that, and, and everybody's saying I don't follow the fucking rules. Fucking problem is. Can't do their fuck. Can't do the fucking job their fucking way because everybody does not fucking work. They and they think, oh, that uh, putting the fucking carts in the fuck, it's like keeping the carts in the store is more fucking important. But what the fuck's gonna happen if all the fucking carts are out in the fucking parking lot? And I'm not gonna sit there and leave in the fucking parking lot to fill their fucking the sort of fucking crock be filled up. If I bring goddamn carts back, I make sure the fucking lot's cleared. Because keeping the fucking lots clear, fucking carts is, 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 would be uh would be getting rid of a much more fucking major safety hazard. But the fucking problem is apparently these fucking management man, company managers don't give a fuck if some if say if any of those fucking carts got loose and start smashing the cars left and right because of some major fucking windstorm, or or some or somebody stupidly backing into them. And I that, put being a goddamn car pusher is not a fucking it's not a good job at all. It's more like a damn fucking job. It seemed like the day before I fucking quit, I ended up talking to not say, talking about looking for not talking about our jobs, let's say in our car push, and he just fucking, he ended up saying any job, anything else is better than that. And personally, I think he was fucking right. But it's happened is to say it was a falling out. And I just fucking, 
and competent managers thinking they're gonna try to force their fucking they're gonna try to force their fucking way on me. Force me to do everything their fucking way. Well, if I can't do the job the way I fucking can do it, I just told them. I just told the incompetent fucking manager, then get a new car pusher. <clears throat> and that was like the final fucking stroke. And apparently the words was cocksucker thought it'd be a good idea to go out and get a cigarette. Why why she hire fucking people that fight that smoke goddamn cigarettes? When smoking cigarettes, isn't that a legitimate form of grounds to reject somebody? Or you should find some fucking way to encourage them to fucking quit smoking. I personally think a more productive, I think a more productive employee is somebody that that that, 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 that tells that, that tells the cigarette manufacturers to go fuck themselves, and those that fucking embrace smoking, tells those types of people to go fuck themselves and stick the cigarettes in their fucking asses. You need people like that. People are anti-smoking. <coughs> oh. I just got fucking. I would just. I would just fucking. I just fucking had it. And another fucking problem is there ain't goddamn coverage when you take when, when and, they, and they want you to take goddamn lunch breaks. But the fucking problem is the fucking place becomes a goddamn clusterfuck after say thirty minutes. And I wasn't put out. And I was not fucking gonna put up with that shit. Fucking bullshit. I wasn't pointing up with no fucking bullshit. It's a fucking problem. They fight this goddamn incompetent fucking man. Competent fucking managers, whatever. I think so fucking, and then the problem is they're, and their fucking line of thinking is too fucking narrow-minded. Too narrow-fucking-minded. So narrow-fucking-minded. I was not gonna fucking put up with such fucking bullshit. And the fucking problem is when they fucking told me I wasn't gonna follow the goddamn rules. I just pretty much fuck I pretty much just fucking figured if I fucking stuck it out. Any review they would have probably gave me would have been fuck would have been a fucking bad review regardless. And sure, I filled out a few applications since I quit. Went to one interview. Probably just heard back from them from that place. And say they're going a different direction, which means they're like parting ways. What the fuck? And shit, I fucking all other shit I fucking hate. Like one set up a fucking Patreon account, apparently. And apparently, regardless, even if you have twenty thousand subscribers, even if you have fucking say twenty million subscribers, they could just they could be too fucking cheap to even contribute even to contribute so much as one fucking dollar. Even contribute so much as one dollar a month. It's not fucking, it's not fucking bad at all. Nothing wrong with that. It's like like $12 a fucking year. Per person. And that can help, and that could help a lot. Help finance, like say, better, help finance, uh, better whatever. All the frustrations in this world. Frustrations in this fucking world. So much frustrations. I'm gonna finish this up. <sighs> Shit. And when it comes to drinking alcohol beverages, you should always remember to drink responsibly. And I'm thinking, is working a dead end job with no fucking, with no, with no potential opera, no potential, let's say, with no potential for advancement? There's that, these other two other car pushes have been there for years. The fucking problem, the, God, the goddamn problem with the situation is if they say it's a dead end job, anything is better. Why are those people even working there? 
The smart person is told that his or her line of work is just a dead end job. The smart person would pro would get the fuck out of there. Would get his or her ass the fuck out of there and start looking for a better fucking line of work. Not suck up and sit there and conform that bullshit. It's like people these days, it's like basically it's like people try to create complacent fucking nature. The complacent fucking nature and the goddamn incompetent management has that proven themselves to be just nothing but a bunch of fucking no good pussies. They don't get they only give a fuck more about and only give who only gives and only gives a fuck about say how much fucking money they can make compared to say anything else, including the fucking morale workers. If I even knew, if I even knew exactly what type of shit job that was gonna be, I would probably just fucking I'd probably just turn it the fuck down and just fucking took my chances with fucking Amazon. Take my chance with fucking Amazon. And probably get, and probably and probably just say risk running myself into the ground. But even the only good upside about all this, I could put more fucking I could do I could spend more time trying to get this fucking YouTube channel better. Improving it, making it better. Put better put uh videos up. Get more videos edited, get more videos done, get more videos edited. Which means the refurbished Mac Me is gonna probably get more usage. Hey, it's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> and even in the verdict about say pushing carts for a living. I think the truth is I say for I say if, if say if they're fucking to say starting out, like say I'd say if the person has a high school education or college education, I would never, even in, if I'm looking, they tell me to hire a goddamn person to push the fucking carts. If I'm a manager of any retail store and the people applying are all high school educated, I would not even fucking, I, I would even in, I would not even consider those types of people. Even then, I would just tell them, one, why are you, why are you lowering yourself? So first thing, you're going to be lowering yourself if you do this line of work. No way, they, oh no way, one of them would be, anybody in that would be, would be getting the job would be if, they only, if they're the only ones that fucking, if, if nobody, that'd be considered acceptable, applies, like say, somebody's dropped out of high school, high school dropouts would be a better choice for that, because one, and people even start thinking, hmm, for someone like me, high school educated, registered voter, there's nothing wrong with being a registered fucking voter. Makes you better in this world. Makes you look better. Makes you better in society. Very confident fucks would rather want people that are that are that, that, that have no fucking. They, they want people with no common sense. They want people that are totally, that totally accept being dis that totally, that totally want to be disenfranchised. Maybe not unless they uh, even then those are not disenfranchised. They probably accept those only if those it does people. We always support the people that they endorse. I even have people talk about say how unions, what makes the case for even then there's no fucking case for unionization. Even if they tell, even if somebody tells me to support unionization, I guarantee, I probably even then, I guarantee, I probably even then, even then, I tell, even then, I would tell that son of a bitch what the fuck I think of unionization, and I pose that because all that is just a waste of fucking time. Not to have a unionization creates a more uh, suitable environment. <laughs> and and the people working in in, in the re and, and people that uh, are working non union jobs can keep will, will be able to keep all their fuck all the money that does not get taken out for taxes or shit like that. 
And other things that fucking, and other things that, that led me to fucking quit with say one fucking problem is you call off due to illness. They make you fucking fill out some goddamn claims, whatever. They're to the, say leave of absence claims through some company. But the fucking problem is it's a pain in the fucking balls. They want you to fill out this and that. You want to submit it to them. And they probably want you to get access to your fucking, they probably want access to your medical records. But the fucking problem is other people looking at it. What if, what if, say, even then, and that process would have been fucking botched. Because somebody else would have probably thought, oh, you only need to fucking submit this. Fucking problem is. And this claim, and that, and that claim never got fucking, and, and this actually was because, like, say, after St. Patrick's Day, I ended up dealing with this fucking head cold. I was so fucking, oh, oh whatever. Left me unable to foot, so left me, like, say. And the first fucking day, I just got stuck. I was pretty much stuck in the goddamn. And it was like, pretty much, like, say. Wasn't actually, wasn't getting up much. That was a pain in the fucking balls. Didn't have much energy, and then. I just started healing, whatever, and then I was able to fucking get my ass out of bed and. And on Wednesday, I ended up visiting a doctor. It was a Thursday. I think the doctor was probably, and I think he must have misdiagnosed it, but I don't know, maybe not. They just say it was some fucking common cold, like some head cold. Say so it was a common cold, but it was not the fucking flu, fortunately. Because not because because it wasn't enough symptoms to justify it. Like my throat was still in good; it was not even sore at all. <clears throat> but even that fucking head cold made me think: What the fuck was I, am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Why the fuck should I be do, sticking around that line of work anyway? I was just fucking thinking, what the fuck was I doing? What the fuck was I doing? <coughs> I just probably realized I was making, I was probably making a fucking, I was probably, I was probably even, and I was just start realizing that that was not the line of fucking work for me. And I was hoping maybe I could just stick around a little bit longer or whatever, try to get a new job lined up, but the fucking problem is the unforeseen circumstances. I just said I got into my level of tolerance, got completely used up. And a fucking and a fucking incompetent assistant manager starts wants to fucking force what they call what the fuck motherfuckers call safety over say trying trying to get over fucking say trying to do it the right fucking way. Thinking that not following their fucking is gonna cost them fucking money. Fucking problem is it was gonna be a it was gonna get the fucking point if I stuck it out. It was going to get to the fucking point, regardless of what the fuck I do, I would have been fucking, I'd probably just been labeled liability, and I would have been, been thrown out the fucking, I would have been shown the fucking door. Tossed out in the fucking street. And fast. That's what would have happened to me. I was trying to fucking, and some bitch wants to fucking, some goddamn incompetent supervisor wanted to fucking discuss it, but I was trying not to, because I, I don't want to be, I don't want to make the fucking time to do that. But he forced the fucking issue. I was, I, I, I fucking almost uh, quit then, and I almost just fucking quit there. But a couple hours later, it all goes to fuck. It was going to fucking shit anyway. Same incompetent assistant manager. It comes out thinking I put, I bring too many fucking carts in. I think man, I should push the fucking carts manually. But I'm not, I'm not. But I was not going to fucking. Go through all that trouble of doing it manually. I'm not wasting my fucking. That's not fucking productive. Savage so fucking thought I was bringing too many fucking carts in, but the fucking problem is they don't want to fucking these goddamn incompetent fucking management. Don't want to save it in. They don't want to spend the fucking money properly maintain the equipment that's fucking used. Like one, they don't want to maintain the fuck. They don't want to want to spend any fucking money maintaining the goddamn equipment. Cheap motherfuckers is what they fucking are. 
cheap fucking cocksuckers. And I can't even then, one thing that, no, but even then, when it comes to like magic physicians, smoking cigarettes, having fucking buy piercings, should be grounds, should be grounds for disqualification from that, from that, from consideration. Even then, they should make them take a fucking intelligence test. Save their fucking, have, have save they have fucking proper competency, have fucking intelligence. Fucking problems don't just let anybody. And the fucking problem is their egos get too fucking big anyway. Oversized fucking egos. And my stupidly fucking thinks that I should have just gave two weeks fucking nose. But the fucking problem is it would never fucking worked. The only fucking problem is my luck. By time, even 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 if I even even then, I've been lucky if I was able if, if I was able to fucking submit before I fucking tossed my ass because the moment. If it, cause at most such a decision would, would could have been made if it was ever made, my luck, I'd probably have been fucking shown the goddamn door and never been having even and, and I would never even have a chance to even fucking submit or even put in writing. That's something I can never that's something I cannot fuck and that's something uh, even then that management did not show any competency to justify giving any such notice. I wasn't gonna finish out the fucking shit and do that shit. If I fucking if say and if I and if I didn't fucking decide to quit then and there, I probably even then my luck, I probably have never been able to fucking I probably have been fucking shown the door before the goddamn shift was over. Cause I probably because I probably because I probably would have just fucking my patience would have wore the fuck out completely. The reason I just quit all of a sudden was probably was just a fucking was just to maintain some fucking patience figure. And it works better for the and it, and it does better for and it and will do better for the long run. Not having to deal with dead end bullshit and dealing with fucking ignorant ass fucking customer people that get too fucking impatient impatient motherfuckers. They won't be in a fucking hurry to leave. What the fuck is wrong with these people? What the fuck is wrong with them? Hm. Some fucking person got too fucking impatient. I just fucking I just wasn't gonna fucking. I was not going to be fucking nice anymore. I got sick and I'm sick and tired of patient fuckers. Or the weekend before, or whatever. Somebody fucking backed in a goddamn car machine. I ended up chasing the fuck down and told it and, and then asked the and asked the bar this fucking motherfucker. So what the fuck is wrong with anyway? I'm not going to fucking show any fucking positive attitude to fucking people that show ignorance or fucking impatient motherfuckers. I'm not dealing with that shit anymore. My level of tolerance was fuck was completely wearing the fuck down. And I always figured my days were num were gonna be numbered anyway, there. Even then. Even who gives a fuck? Fucking problem is I've I I just be gaining the goddamn I'd be getting burnt to me fucking times. People think, you know, we need to cooperate. The fucking problem is, the goddamn fucking problem is, people who try to suck it up will be the ones more likely to get fucked in, the world, in this world anyway. Because they want people that they can control. They can control, because when those types of people are easier to fuck over. And they can and they can, fuck, and they can and they can fuck those types of people over again and again and again. Or someone like me, they don't want someone like me. And even then, I, even then, I'm the person that they don't want to see. Even then, I'd be the type of person that absolutely does not believe in the concept of sucking it up. And that's something nobody wants to see happen anymore. Get fucked over in this world too many fucking times. Over the fucking years. Fucked over too many times. I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not going to play other people's games anymore. Promise, if, if other motherfuckers are going to sit there and, and, and show off these fucking games, whatever, and they want, they want me to play their fucking games, well, guess the fuck what? There is no fucking games being played anymore. And there will be no fucking games to play as far as anybody's concerned. Those games were fucking preemptively over before I begun.
That's a fucking problem. You get burnt. So you get you get fucked over all these years. You get fucked over. You get burned. But the only upside now there'll be more videos that go that come up. So there's a con. So even in there is a consolation. If more people start, if more people are subscribed to my channel, say the views went up. Say the view up, the viewing the viewing time went up, and if the number of subscribers went up, and may I could turn may I could turn the fucking channel channel a source of income again. Because one thing that something I'm fucking I'm fucking getting sick and tired of do, of doing is something for nothing. Doing this and that, doing shit left and right, and not getting a fucking thing in return. So that could be helpful to me. Get nothing in return. I'm just paying to think, why am I even fucking wasting my time even trying anymore? Nobody wants me to take nobody wants anybody nobody wants anybody to take chances because they want you to do this and that or a narrow minded buy a fucking bullshit. Fucking problems. They say they have an open fucking mind, but the fucking problem is the way they think. There's no open minded at all. To be open fucking minded, you gotta fucking think openly, not narrow ass. When it comes to like the fucking workplace, you don't fucking get say require somebody to do only a narrow list of responsibilities. Oh, and that is so fucking one thing I do not like is narrow minded thinking. Fucking problem with uh. Confident cart, the same with the confident manager at Walmart. They want to say they want people to push the carts and just push the fucking carts, doing such say doing such a narrow minded fucking way, thinking the lot's more fucking thinking they're more valuable outside. That's a stupid ass fucking job anyway. Pushing carts is, is a pathetic job, a pathetic line of work. If I want to do fucking, if I want to make a goddamn career doing fucking, if I want to make a if I want to make a goddamn fucking career. Doing physical fucking labor, I should have. I would have fucking. I probably. I would think. I would have started at when it's the moment. Say before I got out of fucking high school, and may go into fucking construction business. Or get fucking, or just, or just fucking, or look at such a fucking, or look at such fucking physical jobs back then. A person that's in his mid thirties should not be starting out. Doing physical fucking labor and shit. Say so I know so I know shit about computers. I know how to use computers. A lot of proficiency with that. Proficiency with spreadsheets. Proficiency proficiency with word fucking processors. Proficiency with video cameras. Video editing. Such fucking skills. That'd be going to fucking waste. Working a damn fucking job. Listen, there might a motherfucker say. Do when there might a motherfuckers want who have shit for fucking brains. They say quitting proves he do have a fucking probably proves he might have an open mind. Because he start because he start thinking, open minded people will never take such jobs like that. A person with a real open mind. Would think would think roll openly and would know that being a car pusher is not is, is not fucking worth it. And if they did get such an offer, they would just fucking they would just they would just decide they would make the decision that it ain't worth it. They would just decline the offer. And not fucking lower themselves. That's probably a long video, but well. Well, that's pretty much I get to say. I pretty much already said everything I need to say. I figure test this uh, webcam out. It's building camera anyway. Better than that. Hope you enjoyed this video.